Aloha, Lava Watchers. Is Kilauea really closing in on episode 40 this week? Or is that slowdown in inflation hinting we may be in for a longer wait? We will walk through the latest signals in this Hawaii Volcano Watch Report for January 5th, 2026. Before we begin, if you have any questions or comments about Kilauea or the data, leave them in the comments below and I will attempt to answer them in the next update. Now, let's get started. The ongoing Hale Ma'umau eruption is still paused, but the vents are far from dull. Overnight, webcam showed an intense, persistent, but slightly variable glow from both the north and south vents. Seismometers are picking up nearly constant low-level tremor from the vent area and weak, low-frequency tremor pulses have returned over the past day. Those pulses may be particularly linked to changes in vent glow intensity, suggesting the system is still very much alive beneath the surface. On the deformation side, Kilauea continues to recharge slowly. Since the end of episode 39, the UWD tilt meter has now recorded 20.8 microradians of reinflation under the summit. However, tilt has been relatively flat since about 5 p.m. yesterday with only 0.7 microradians added in the past 24 hours. That leveling off tells us the inflation rate has slowed compared to a few days ago. Volcanic gas emissions remain much lower than during active fountaining but are still estimated at 1,000 to 5,000 tons of sulfur dioxide per day. That is typical for these eruptive pauses and still well above actual background levels for a non-erupting Kilauea. Out on the east at rift zone and southwest rift zone, things remain very quiet. Seismicity and ground deformation are both very low, and SO2 from those areas remain below detection limits, keeping the focus squarely on the summit activity. So what does all this mean for the timing of episode 40? Forecast models continue to point to an eruption window between January 8th and 13th. The slower inflation in the cycle, especially the recent flattening of the inflation curve, is the main reason the window has not been moved up to an earlier date. If summit inflation continues to slow or stalls for a while, it could stretch that window later. But for now, January 8th through the 13th remain the best estimates for the subsequent lava fountaining episode. Bottom line for today. Hale Ma'u Ma'u is still in a recharge phase. An eruption in the next day or so is not the most likely outcome. But every additional microradian of inflation that UWD records is one more step towards episode 40 lighting up the crater again. Mahalo for watching and have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening.